Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Tolu and in this video I'm going to be talking about seven sexually sensitive parts of a man. The seventh body part that I'm going to be mentioning in this video is one that a lot of people don't know about but it's one that can definitely give the man a mind-blowing sexual experience. So make sure you watch this video till the end. So if you like what I have to say, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and leave a comment for me letting me know how useful you found this video. Number one on my list is the genitalia, which includes the penis and the scrotum. I mean, the fact that the penis tops the list is a no-brainer. It is very sensitive and responds even to the most gentle of touches. In fact, it responds to imagination. With the penis, it's important that you don't just focus on the tip, but you focus on your entire penis. That includes the shaft and the tip. One thing that you can do is to wrap your hand gently in a circle around the base of the penis. And then when you have your hand wrapped around the base of the penis to squeeze gently this can improve blood flow and sensitivity and can definitely blow him away sometimes quite literally the scrotum is also a soft sensitive tissue that is rich in nerve endings so make sure you don't ignore it with gentle touch massaging just make sure that you experiment with it but don't be too hard or too firm be gentle and find what works Number two on my list would be the mouth, which includes the lips. Fun fact, men also enjoy kissing just as much as women. And the lips are also very sensitive. They have very sensitive membranes. And so when kissing happens, that can definitely excite men sexually. So kissing with gentle bites or just anything you do to stimulate the lips can actually sexually excite the man in question. Number three, the nipples. This usually divides the room. This is because there are some men that like when their nipples are stimulated. There are some that simply don't like it. So it depends on what works for the particular man in question. So that's why communication is very important, having conversations and also experimenting because sometimes he may think he's not sensitive there, but when you touch him there, he finds out that oh, he's been wrong his entire life. So it's important to find out if this works for your man. And if it does, um, maybe stimulating it with your hands, with your tongue, starting gently. Some may like it to be a bit more firm. So in the end, it's a sensitive spot, but doesn't work for everyone. If the nipples do work for your man, then squeezing on them when he's ejaculating can help him have even more powerful climax. You're welcome. At this point, if you found this video useful so far, what I would like you to do is to hit the subscribe button, okay? All right, guys, so let's go to the fourth thing on the list, which is the nape of the neck. The neck has really sensitive skin, especially the nape of the neck. Stimulation of this part of the body can send signals to the circulatory system and can increase blood flow to this part of the body. Gently stroking or kissing the nape of the neck during foreplay and during sex can actually help to make the difference between good sex and amazing sex for the man. Number five on the list is ear lobes. The ear lobes are very rich in nerve endings and this makes them very sensitive. So they are sensitive to touch with your fingers or you can decide to use your tongue or your lips, gentle bites if that's what he likes. But whatever it is you do, don't ignore the ear lobes. Be gentle with them because they are quite sensitive but when done properly, they can be very sexually stimulating. Number six on the list is inner thighs. Now we are getting towards the parts of the body where good hygiene is important. So you definitely want your man to be clean in this part of the body if you are going to properly stimulate it. And that's why a shower before foreplay and sex can be very important. However, this is not to distract from the fact that the inner thighs of a man are quite sensitive and so a gentle massage of that part of the body or just gently running your fingers along his inner thighs can be very sexually stimulating. So make sure you don't ignore this part of the body during foreplay. So 
thank you guys for watching this video up until this point we've talked about six parts of the body so far and now we are coming to the seventh part this seventh part is some part of the body that many people don't know to be sexually stimulating and it's also a part of the body so here it is have you ever heard about the perineum it's the area between the anus and the scrotum this is another part of the body that you probably would not be comfortable stimulating if the man does not have very good hygienic practices and that's why it could be important for maybe before you begin with foreplay and sex for both of you to have a bath because it is so close to the anus that anyone who does not take care of that part well that part might not be clean enough but then if it is clean enough and if you are bold enough to venture into this part of the body it can be very sexually pleasing for your man this is because this area it's very sensitive and if properly stimulated maybe with gentle kisses gentle touch it can make the difference between really good sex and super amazing sex and if you are very daring you can even try inner stimulation and even go i don't know all the way to the prostate just google what prostate milking is all about you're welcome Alright guys, so we've talked about seven sexually sensitive parts of a man. It's not an exhaustive list by any measure because there are some other places in the part of a man that can be sexually sensitive like the scalp, the feet, the hands, the lower back. These are parts of the body that you should also definitely explore. But then, for the purpose of this video, I just kept it to seven, which I believe to be some of the most sexually sensitive parts of a man's body. So thank you for watching this till the end. If you like what I had to say, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave a comment for me, letting me know if you found this video very useful. All right, guys. Bye. -bye.